there are certain definitions which you have to be familiar with when you are studying light so we'll discuss these uh, important things and there is no escape you have to actually remember it for example the first term is called optical medium so as it's clear it's actually made of two words optical and medium medium word you are familiar with and you know what it stands for however optical you must heard, uh, have heard of uh, your father saying that I have to go to the optician so anything related to light is actually known with the prefix called optic this is the prefix for light so opticians is the person who actually deals with management of light or seeing so optical medium is the medium in which light will travel so this is the definition of op optical medium the second term that is being used is homogeneous medium as you know the word here homo means same so when the medium is same all throughout then you will call it homogeneous medium for example the figure shows glass slab and if you see this glass slab it appears to be same all throughout so we'll call this as homogeneous medium in contrast to glass slab you have a picture here which shows fog and it is not even it is distributed differently in different parts so this such kind of medium which is different in different parts like a fog here is called heterogeneous medium now hetero means different so this is an example of heterogeneous medium so homogeneous medium like glass could be diamond distilled water a sheet of clear plastic vacuum or pure alcohol whereas heterogeneous medium here which one example we have taken as fog could be mist the clouds smoke etc where medium is different in different parts next term which is used commonly is called transparent medium trans word is common in many english words it means across and when you can look across any medium without any problem like glass then such medium where there is no hindrance while you see from one end to the other are called transparent medium so they allow transparent medium allow the travel the light energy to pass without any problem and this example is uh, for example it could be a layer of thin layer of water vacuum certain kinds of clear plastics alcohol benzene etc however another variety is called trans lucent medium now in such medium light energy is allowed but it is partially allowed that is not fully it it the full energy is not passed on example of such medium is muddy water smoke dust filled air fog mist clouds etc and such therefore medium which pass light energy partially are called translucent medium the, the next one is opaque body if a body doesn't allow any energy to pass through it then it's called opaque body 
for example wall in your house or stones wood any solid article that you have uh, let's say made from wood etc so this is these are examples of opaque body next we come to the definition of point source of light a very small source of light let's say a very small bulb or a very small candle could be termed as point source of light so the important condition of point source is that if this is the source of light then it has to be very very small like a pinhead however whenever you are told extended source of light that means the source may not be small like this for example you see these candles here they have elongated flame and if you see elongated flame like this they will be called extended source note in point source this has to be very very small I, for clarity we have shown it little bigger but true point source could be like this a small dot next we come to the commonly used term called ray of light by definition it is the path by on which we assume the light to be traveling for example if you assume a light to, to be traveling like this this will become a ray now if you are told somewhere beam of light then essentially it means that you are referring to the large number of rays of light moving together so it will be somewhat like this many moving together so this many rays together are called beam of light now when you say parallel beam of light then obviously all the rays like shown here have to be parallel to each other however if you are told that we are referring to divergent beam of light so divergent actually means you know opening up so divergent means it will go like this it will open up see it's opening up like this so this is an example of divergent beam however when you say convergent beam then instead of opening up it will close down for example it will be like this it will come and meet at a point so there they are coming and meeting at a point so this you will say is the convergent beam whereas if they appear to be moving away from a point like this here there will be divergent beam so these were common terms which you will be seeing continuously being used in whenever you are discussing light and therefore you have to be familiar with this to move forward there is no escape route you have to remember this Thank you.